JJ from the MMA and Sports Extreme Show with the 19th win. Marluce, look at this, world champion. World champion right there, how do you feel? I'm feeling great, I'm top of the world. Um, a lot of people in the audience were, were wondering what you were doing in the first couple of rounds, but I can see she was a pretty, pretty strong athlete, and I think you were waiting for your spot. Well, my trainer said this is your 11th, fight, uh, 11th year fighting, you've got so much experience, you will get tired because this is just a six, uh, seventh uh, professional fight and that worked out. I thought it was great. I mean, I, I thought that you, about the end of the third round you started using more knees, uh, started taking some of her wind away and then eventually you could finish it in the fourth. Yeah, but I was also sick uh, in, the, in my preparations, I had an ear infection and before that I had flu and fever and everything. So <laughs> I trained really hard for it. but. Uh, it was also a little bit of my condition too. Well, you can tell you were in shape, and, and the MMA and Sports Extreme Show fans out there, there's a lot of ladies, a lot of girls training in uh, Almeida's gym and Balance Studios and Maxercise. What could you give them some advice about their training as they move towards the cage? Uh, first and foremost, you've got to love the game, and if you love it, you will get here. That's all you need. How about your diet getting ready, uh, eating the proper nutrition? Yeah, well, the first time it was really hard with fighting Sarah because I never fought a 135. So uh, I was totally obsessed with food. I'm a big foodie, but then it was really bad. <laughs> I was stuffing everybody with food so I could see it at least. <laughs> but this time I knew I could make it, so it was easy. It's still a tough diet. I mean, it's not easy. But uh, yeah, I made the weight quite easy. Uh, this year. I, I was on, on weight on Friday. I didn't have to go to the, in the sauna or whatever. I've got great nutrition coaches there. Um, they're um, specialized in bodybuilders, so they're from the Netherlands, Andrew's Gym and Rhino Gym. And they also do the whole team of Golden Glory, like Alistair, me, Gokusaki, everyone. So uh, they tell me what to eat and what to do, and I do it. And Obviously it works, you're the world champion. Now, who inspires you out there in your life? Uh, in fighting, it was always Lucia Rijker. She was the first woman who I saw, she's a really badass. There's no one like Lucia. And uh, I really respect uh, the people I'm training with. But also like people who do different stuff, like uh, my grandmother, she's 95 and she's had a tremendous life and so, she's so full of joy and love. Strong people who really care about other people, they're the people I respect and many other people are in hospitals taking care of others, people like that, school teachers. Excellent, what is up next for your career? I miss you. There you go. Hey, thanks champ. Have a great night and strike force. Everybody was Kung Fu fighting.